Ukraine destroyed Russian MiG-31, three Su-27s, S-300 and S-400 air defense systems in Crimea. On the night of May the 15th, the Ukrainian army launched a series of targeted strikes on the territory of the Belbek military airfield near occupied Sevastopol in Crimea. The Crimean Wind public page writes that 15 minutes after the series of strikes, the explosions began to become smaller. It is not excluded that this was the detonation of ammunition, the Crimean wind reports. This time, the residents of Yevpatoria and Bakhchisare district reported about explosions. The Russian Defense Ministry reported about the interception of 10 ATA CMS type missiles by air defense systems. But residents show three hotbeds of fire in the area of the Belbek aerodrome. We are talking about the runway and aircraft parking. The head of Sevastopol, Mikhail Razvozaev, said that Russian air defense shot down several missiles over the waters and in the area of the Belbek airfield. Local residents reported about 20 missiles. Commander of the Air Force of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, Nikolai Oleshchuk, confirmed work on the Belbek airfield. Did you know that the Air Force of the Armed Forces of Ukraine includes the 204th Sevastopol Tactical Aviation Brigade? So. Its regular base is the Belbek airfield. Ukrainian aviators will definitely return home to their home airfield. In the meantime, thanks to everyone who joined cleansing Crimea of the Russian presence, commented Oleschuk. He did not provide any other details about the explosions at the airfield. Experts note that the missiles could have hit the MiG-31 Kinzel carrier. As Defense Express analysts write, satellite images for March the 31st were previously published online, where you can see in detail where which aircraft are located at the Belbek airbase. In total, 24 aircraft and 6 helicopters can be counted at the airbase. Of these, 10 Su-27-30, 4 MiG-31, 6 MiG-29, 3 L-39, 4 Mi-8, 2 K-027-29, 1 Su-25. If we compare these images and the map of fires on the airfield after the strike, we can assume that ATA CMS could have hit the MiG-31 primarily with the amendment that, after all, it comes from satellite images that are already more than two weeks old. The analysts note, Z Channel's report the destruction of a MiG-31 aircraft and damage to three Su-27s. ATA CMS missiles also destroyed S-300 and S-400 air defense systems and a radar. There are wounded and killed. According to unconfirmed information, 11 Russian servicemen were killed. Slovakia's Prime Minister Robert Fico has been injured in shooting and hospitalized. The incident occurred on Wednesday afternoon after a Slovak government meeting at a location outside Bratislava, news agency TASR reported. Robert Fico, 59, was hit in the stomach after four shots were fired outside the House of Culture in the town of Handlova, some 150 kilometers northeast of the capital, where the leader was meeting with supporters, according to local media. According to eyewitness report, Fico fall to the ground with head and chest injuries. A suspect has been detained and police has sealed off the scene. President Zuzana Chaputova condemned a brutal and ruthless attack on the premier. I'm shocked. I wish Robert Fico a lot of strength in this critical moment and a quick recovery from this attack, Chaputova said. <laughs> А кто старший, я не пойму. Тут старший кто? English. А вас что, блядь, тут четвером, блядь, пятером кинули вас? Охуеть. Тебе переводчика нету? Нет у него никого. Они по-английски. У меня что там еще давать? Нихуя, ебать. Да. Да, да. Север, Украина, смотри. А, так. Норд, Вест. 
Эрнот, Вейс, Вана, Север, Север. Саут. Саут. Вот. Саут. Вот. Украина. Юг. Север. Юг. 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 Юг.